Though LeBron and Draymond had some beef in the past because of their finals matchups, it's not surprising at all nowadays to say that Draymond is a big LeBron fan. We can hear him talking about LeBron in any podcast, saying how great is LeBron and claiming he's the GOAT. But let's hear first his arguments on why LeBron is the GOAT. Who your top five? My top five is LJ number one, MJ number two, Kobe number three, Steph number four, and Shaq number five. Okay. You got Bron first. Yes. Because what Bron has done, like, when you talk about Sicily Tyson, yeah. Bron started in 03. By 2005, Bron was the best player in the NBA. Yeah. In 2020, he was still the best player in the NBA. Shoot. He was the best player in the NBA no matter what the game did. When it comes to longevity, no question, I should say LeBron is the greatest. And to be able to stay in the league for that long with no signs of retiring is simply amazing. He's been in the league for two decades and still the best player of his team. But what I can't accept is when Draymond said that LeBron was the best player in the league from 2005 to 2020. It is kind of ridiculous and laughable as if Kobe and Duncan didn't exist in the 2000s. Looking back in 2005, I think it's easy to say that Tim Duncan was simply the best player of that year. He could drop 20 and 11 on a nightly basis. He led the Spurs to winning their third title, beating the defending champ Pistons. And Raymond, how could you forget Kobe like that? 2006 was Kobe's greatest season ever. He averaged 35 points per game, dropped 81 points versus the Raptors, dropped two 60-point games and six 50-point games, and single-handedly brought his team to the playoffs. And in the year 2008 to 2010, that's Kobe's career peak. That's definitely the year he was the best player. More matured, more of a killer, and hungrier for the title brought his team to three straight finals, winning back-to-back. -back. Both are against the team that beat LeBron in the playoffs. And in 2011, though LeBron was great statistically in that season, even he would voluntarily say he was not the best player that year considering the disappearing performance he had in the finals. And have you forgotten your teammate Stephen Curry? 2015 was probably his year. From 2019 to 2021, that's probably the Greek freak. He was a beast during those years, averaging 28 and 11 in those years. Well, I am not saying LeBron is not great. When it comes to longevity, nobody can beat him. There were years when he was the best player. And it's impressive that after all these years, he's still phenomenal. He will always be one of the best to ever touch the ball. What I don't like is the disrespect to some of the greats just to exalt LeBron James. When you look at the teams that LeBron has carried to championship or carried to the finals. Did he just say LeBron carried his team to the finals? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Of all the greats in Mount Rush, he definitely has the best teammates in most of his finals run. He had Wade, Bosch, Allen, Kyrie, Love, Davis. He has a total of 90 teammates who became All-Stars or at least All-Stars during their runs. While Jordan, on the other hand, had only 7 other All-Star teammates. MJ didn't beat the greatest team ever assembled, nor did he run up against the greatest team ever assembled every year. And did he just say he beat the best team ever built, referring to the 2016 Warriors that blew a 3-1 lead in the finals? Even KD's OKC almost beat them in the playoffs. I mean, it's the greatest season team ever. But it's not the greatest of all time. The greatest is still the 95-96 Bulls, slain a 60-win team and a 50-win team in the playoffs and in the finals, and never had a Game 7. Well, coming back from a 3-1 lead in the finals so impressive and it will be forever written in the record book as the greatest comeback in the finals ever. I just don't like the narrative that the 2016 Warriors was the greatest team ever. And in addition to that, facing the 2017 to 2018 Warriors is not something to brag about if you got beaten twice. One was gentleman sweep and the other one was completely demolished. Not to mention, 
that was also the team the Rockets dragged to Game 7. Again, I am not taking anything away from LeBron here. I'm not a hater as someone would say. I'm just saying that Raymond's reasoning is far from reality trying to put LeBron at the top while diminishing the greatness of other legends is always a bad way of making the GOAT argument. So the bottom line here is LeBron in the aspect of longevity is the greatest. Nobody can top him. But to consider him the GOAT, well, I highly, highly doubt it. Considering Michael Jordan has the most accomplishments in a short period of time. And when Draymond said that MJ didn't face the greatest team, it is because he was on the greatest team ever. And it was the greatest team ever because MJ was there. Draymond is a smart player. Smart in terms of making plays and facilitating the team. Sometimes has a good takes. But come on man, that's an awful take about the GOAT debate. LeBron is definitely not better than Kobe Bryant and Tim Duncan during those years I mentioned. So Draymond, here are some facts for you.